Hello, my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Today, I have a fun and whimsical project to share with you. I created this adorable basket of strawberries using a digital file by My Scrap Chick. Each of these strawberries are individual treat boxes and I've included a Lindor chocolate truffle inside. I just love the way this turned out and I think the strawberries are so lifelike. In the basket, I've included six strawberries. I'm gonna take this out and show you the inside. In the basket, I've just included this white crinkled paper. I've double lined the basket with this brown cardstock and then offset it with this pretty blue paper. I've lined it with pearl trim, this blue fabric trim, as well as this cotton lace ribbon. And then on either side of the basket, I've included this pretty floral spray with blue roses, these little berries, and more of this cotton lace trim and jute. I think that looks so pretty. This will be a perfect complement to the picnic basket that I created in my previous video. This basket is fairly sizable. It measures three and a quarter inches by five and a half. And each of the strawberry treat boxes measure one and three quarters by two inches. Now that I've given you an overview of my strawberry basket, I'm going to gather my materials so that we can make this together. I'll be right back. I've gathered the materials to make our strawberry treat box and carton. I've uploaded this into Cricut Design Space and each of the items have been cut out on my Cricut Maker. As a reminder, if you do not have an electronic cutting machine, all you have to do is use the pattern included in your file. Copy that onto your favorite cardstock and then cut by hand. In your file, you will receive the carton, which looks like this, the strawberry treat box, which looks like this, as well as the leaves. You'll also need some baker's twine and a treat to fill the strawberry box with. Now, I am using these Lindor truffles, which I absolutely love. To save time, I've gone ahead and assembled some of the strawberry treat boxes, and I think they look so cute. I've cut them out on this red polka dot paper, and here's the little twine, and my treat is inside. So let's get started. You're going to take your carton, fold along all of the score lines, and we are going to put adhesive on these tabs and attach the box just like so on all four sides. I'm going to fold it right up to the score line and then turn it over and use your bone folder. We're going to repeat the step on the next side. This is such an adorable project and it comes together in no time. I'm going to finish gluing on the rest of the tabs and then we will assemble our strawberry treat box. So our carton is now assembled. Let's put this aside and we will work on the strawberry treat boxes. The first thing you want to do is fold along all of the score lines. There's a little tab here. We're going to put glue on it and we're going to fold it in just like so. Turn it over and use your bone folder. Now you want to grab your treat and just place it inside. And then these two flaps that don't have the holes on it, we're going to fold them just like so. And I'm going to attach it with a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put some right here on the edge. You don't have to do this step, but I think it makes it easier to add on the leaf as well as the twine. So I'm just gonna hold that together. And then I'm going to take my twine and I'm going to feed it through the underside of this flap. I'm going to fold this over and then we're going to feed the twine through the next set of holes. You want to make sure your twine is even. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here just to secure the top 
and then you want to grab the leaf and you're going to feed the edge of the twine through the holes. You want to make sure you pull the string nice and tight and then I'm going to add a little bit more glue just to attach the leaf and then I'm going to tie a knot and make a bow. I'm going to adjust the twine to the size that I want it and then trim the edges. And we have our cute little strawberry box. I finished my strawberries. I'm going to decorate the cart offline and I'll be back with a final reveal. This is my completed strawberry cart and I love the way this turned out. I wanted to create an offset for the paper and also make the carton more sturdy. So I created a, another carton in a brown craft cardstock and I really love the way that offset looks. I also added in some cotton lace trim this blue trim as well as pearls and on both sides I've included this cotton lace and jute and some flowers and we have our wonderful strawberry treat boxes this concludes my review of my strawberry carton hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas if you like this video please take a moment to give me a thumbs up and please do leave a message thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video bye for now and happy crafting